What's going on guys? Green with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Red Adventures. Pokemon, that's not right. <laughs> Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. Let's not waste any more time, huh? peek boo So yeah, this is pretty much the same dialogue as before where he's going to threaten to throw us off. And um, we didn't have to do the part where we go underwater and evolve Poliwhirl or anything. It's just going to go right into the fight. With If you haven't watched the last video yet, by the way, you might want to go watch that because he has a very special Pokemon that's um, not normal. We'll say that, but before between the last episode and this one, I have made a few changes to the team, including teaching both Pikachu and Poliwrath Dig, because without Dig, this fight would be impossible. And I'm assuming Dig should be able to one-hit kill the Magnemite, I'm hoping. I also feel like, I I feel really conflicted on... You live, are you freaking kidding me? Oh. Um. Okay. Well, I'm not going to risk... Would Thundershot kill? Let's go for the... Uh, you have freaking potions? Are you kidding me? Is this technically the gym battle? I actually didn't consider that part, because, like, when we trained against Misty, that was apparently technically the gym battle, so... Maybe that's why he has four restores, but, um, what was it going to say? I've really conflicted on whether or not I should go... Those two Hardens might actually make it so this dig won't kill. Oh, no. No, okay. Oh, we got a crit. Now I'm really curious if that mattered, but I'm very conflicted on whether or not I should go training because half the time we're super overleveled and half the time we're, like, extremely underleveled. So it's like, well, what are we? I don't understand, but here comes Giant Buzz. Oh, boy. I'm going to try to do as much as I can with Pikachu. That did not sound like Electabuzz's cry. Whose cry was that? I'm not sure whose cry that was. It sounded really familiar. But, um, let's dig charge. That's fine with me. If Pikachu falls, I'll probably go into... Uh, I think he... Doesn't he have Fire Punch or something? Because I remember him, like, one-shotting Bulbasaur. So as you can see, I can go into Bulbasaur, um, Leech Seed, and try to get as, just as much as I can, and then go into... Oh my god, I did nothing. And I get paralyzed, of course. And then go into Poliwhirl and uh, use Dig as well. So you keep using Charge on the turns where you can actually attack me, although I'm probably going to get paralyzed, so it doesn't really matter. No! Okay, why aren't you actually attacking me when you have the opportunity to actually attack me, Mr. Giant Buzz? I feel like Gigabuzz would have been a much better name. Really? Really? Thank you for actually attacking me. I actually do appreciate that. Maybe our static will activate. Oh, oh, static did activate, which is one thing that's always confused me about third generation, is Thunder, Thunder Punch is technically special, but it makes contact, but it doesn't do physical damage. I don't know. Please don't get paralyzed. Thank you. Okay, so this should take him down to still over half. Um, I have a strategy here. Okay, let's go for quick attack. <gasps> I just realized this thing's going to outspeed Poliwrath. Crap. Or will it? I don't remember, actually. It's most likely going to outspeed Poliwrath. So, oh, no, he's paralyzed. Never mind. I completely forgot that. So I can go into Soar now. Oh, you know he's Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Charge. What is this fourth move? I want to feel like it's going to be Fire Punch or something. But let's Leech Seed. Oh, I thought you missed the first Bulbasaur. Sorry, sore. I was going to be so upset if you missed it. Oh, that's actually really awesome. Um, I, oh, I'm going to put him down to four restore range. No. Or I can work this to my advantage. If I can live whatever move he's going to do next, I can Solar Beam. And as long as Solar Beam and Leech Seed combined on the next turn should be enough. Solar, all you have to do is live this. Yes, Solar Beam will kill. Solar Beam and a combination of Leech Seed, I can almost guarantee you're going to kill. I just realized he has a third Pokemon and I have absolutely no idea what it is. So this is probably going to put me in a lot of trouble. Please do a lot of damage. Thank you. I still get That cry sounds so familiar. Ah, oh, it's bothering me so much. Anyways, we got a ton of experience. Very nice. You're still not evolving, by the way. Um, I've read, like, all the way up to the first... Raichu... Okay, that's not too scary. So far, I've read up to the um, end of Volume 1 of Pokemon Adventures, which I believe is like two or three more chapters. I think it's two chapters after we finish this one. So, and by that point, Bulbasaur still doesn't evolve, so I'm assuming Bulbasaur evolves sometime in Volume 2. Every time you use Leech Seed and there's that little pause, I'm assuming it missed, and I start to become very upset with you, Bulbasaur. But then I remember, it's, it's not your fault if you miss. I will forgive you because I know it's not—it's nothing personal. Did he use Thundershock last time? 
I think he used Thundershock last time, and now I'm wondering why does he have both Thundershock and Thunderbolts? Why not give him Surf? Because obviously this game is trying to screw us over, but... I don't, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention if he used Thundershock or Thunderbolts. Um, I might as well Poison Powder, considering... Re yeah, Razor Leaf's doing about the same as Poison Powder, but if I Poison Powder now on Razor Leaf next turn, then it actually will go down fast. Yeah, he is using Thundershock, so I'm not completely insane, and his battle's taking six minutes so far, and it's pretty much a guaranteed win on our part, so I am just going to speed it up. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's dead. I just didn't want to waste that much more time. I didn't realize I didn't realize it was taking six minutes so far. Just freaking Giga Buzz. Giant Buzz, sorry. Yeah, uh, I gotta go. Whoa. <laughs> I still need the key. What's this on the ground? No, no, he didn't drop it. No. He dropped it. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He dropped the key. I would give him, like, jumping in off the boat was hilarious. Seriously, did. Wait, where is this door that we're going to again? Is it hopefully this way? I actually have no idea where the door is. Door! Are you on the floor? Do you want some more of this key? The door is locked. I literally just picked up the key. You're not getting past, kid. I can't fight them all by myself. I need help. I need help from an authority. Uh, yeah, you, know, you consider getting any authority's help when you're like staring at four big sailors, but not when you're face to face with a pedophile who wants to touch your balls. I think I get how red swings right now, okay? It's very confusing. And I still, what's more confusing, where is this locked up? Whoa, we're outside. Pokemon that was inside his room is now gone. Wait, so what did we get this key for? I'm very confused. Oh. Uh, Alright, I guess we need the key. Was this, was the water surrounding this the first time we here? Because I never noticed that. Not gonna lie. Do we need to go find some authority? Or... I'm not sure. I guess we'll go find Officer Jenny. Or just move on to the next thing, because I think that's it? I don't know, do we have like, we, do we have an item called the SS key? Yeah, key that unlocks Pokemon, Pokemon in the crate. But I couldn't go back in that door, where the Pokemon were. Right? Yeah. Uh, should we go talk to Professor Old Dude? Oh no, we missed my opera. Okay, so where is this authority, people? I just realized I never did go in the gym. You have stepped in an abandoned gym. No one has visited this place for 10 years. Okay. Previous gym leader used to have a pet. A pet that he loves. However, like most pets, it eventually dies. He quitted the Pokemon fan club. He threw away his life. He neglected his responsibility as gym leader, but I was always watching. 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 In pain. Eventually, he changed. He weaved. He, it shouldn't be he left. Leaving me to haunt this place. He was depressed. Hurt. But I was always there. Watching in pain. Whoa! Don't be startled. I'm not, a, I'm not a harmful ghost. I've been waiting and waiting for a long time. Please, place my remains in Lavender Town so I can finally rest in peace. Obtain the Ash Jar. Uh... That definitely wasn't in the manga. That was also like the most depressing thing I've ever read in a Pokemon game. Holy crap. Oh, but back to the authority, I guess? Dear Mom, my daughter just turned five. I'm really worried that she might start taking up bad habits like smoking and drinking. Am I worrying too much? Nah, that's pretty much today's generation. No matter what people say, you're a bad owner. You force your Pokemon to fight. You let your Pokemon get stolen. Look who's talking. Uh... What? There's a love letter for me? Can I see it? I found it in the SSN, room 6 on the first floor. Huh, that's Sailor Ted's room. I heard that a, I heard he had a roommate around my age before. Please, help me find Sailor Ted in Lavender Town and ask him where I can find the writer of this love letter. Wow, man, we have a ton of stuff. I was about to say something. We have a ton of stuff to do in Lavender Town, apparently. So, I'm gonna... I had... So I think I kind of had to cheat a little bit. I went to the website where you download the ROM for this, and or the patch, I should say. And there was a screenshot of like all the different chapters you do. And it showed a screenshot of Red standing next to Officer Jenny talking to those sailors. 
I never would have considered coming here and talking to Officer Jenny. What? The SSN is holding all those missing Pokemon in captivity? Okay. I'll be there in a second. You gonna, you gonna come or... No? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was walking around this stupid ship confused for at least like seven minutes trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. Like, where is this authority? I just don't know. But I had a lot of fun talking to the people in the town. You men are under arrest. We're done for. Thank you, Red. I'll take these guys to the police station now. Oh, why does the Nidder Queen sad? I think them, sometimes the em emotion things are a little confused. Anyways, now let's finally go... Which one of these has to... It's just a bunch of crates. What, this one had the Pokemon, right? Okay, insert key. Oh, you guys are free. Oh, they're all so happy. Okay, I've rounded up all those evil doers out of Pokemon. Thank you, uh, Red. We, who would have thought that the SSM was holding the place of all the stolen Pokemon? I'll present you with the XP share. Ah! Yay! Once again, thank you, Red. Okay, Pokemons, I'll take you back to your owners. Oh, they all look so... Why aren't you going? Hey, where's the President Abra? Maybe it's the one Alakazam that just happened to be left behind. And Alakazam... Oh, no. He doesn't like his Pokemon of all. Where did Alakazam go? Do we have an Alakazam now? Oh, I was hoping that maybe he'd be like, Well, I'm not gonna want this old Pokemon. So I'm gonna give him to you because... That's obviously how our men talk. They just make a very weird noise. So they try to think everybody can understand them when reality... I always kind of wonder, like, people who have, like, speech impediments that, you know, it's hard to understand when they're speaking, I always wondered, like, how they sound to themselves, because obviously they know what they're attempting to say, but thanks to everyone who's able to... Where is this... Where is this ovation coming from? <laughs> There's, like, five people here. Thanks to everyone who's able to reunite with their Pokemon. That caught all these bad sailors from Million City can finally return back to a peaceful city it once was. What about Lieutenant Surge? Who? Uh, never mind. So he got away? Let's cheer for Red! Why did, why did they all disappear? You're supposed to cheer, not leave me in tears. Where's my little Abra? Oh, you've got to tell me! Why? 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 Your little Abra evolved into a great big Alakazam. Eek! Oh well, thanks anyway. Now, what can I do? I know, why don't you join the bike race that is on River 11? Here, I'll lend you my bike. Woo! I don't think we're ever giving this back. Okay, uh, Alakazam, let's go. Aw, oh, I would've like... I... I would've loved to take that, uh... I would've loved to take the Alakazam off his hands if he didn't want it, but now he's just gonna have to take it home and be like super depressed. That is not a fun life to live. Anyways, finally the, um... Buzz away... Uh, buzz off Electabuzz? I think that was the name of the chapter. Is finally finished after 20 minutes of recording. You have a bike. Do you want to take part in the competition? Of course. <gasps> oh, crap. Announcers, all Pokemon trainers, take your position. On th our thanks to Miracle Cycle for sponsoring the race and to all of you for taking part. A mere 10 kilometer well-marked road is nothing to it. An easy race course. Of course, on the way near. <laughs> I shouldn't give it away. Okay. The rules are simple. Race from the start to finish. The fastest will win. Why am I the only one not happy? Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna win. I'll rush through this. Okay, ready? Why are we all upset now? Go! Wait! Go! Red! No, you're behind! Oh crap, this is so much fun! Is this like an actual race or... or what? Because... I don't think that's ever something they've actually... Did I go the wrong... I went the wrong way! Crap! I don't know if that's ever anything they've like implemented into a Pokemon game before like actually making a race where you have to beat someone else to it. I have to go through... Nope, I don't need to go through the grass. I'm so paranoid I'm gonna take a wrong turn just like I literally just did! Crap! This is so intense! How to boulder get out? Red, that's not a boulder. That's weird. What's going on? Snore. Wack, it's a Snorlax. These things can't sleep forever. What can I do? Uh, I guess I'll just have to attack it. Eric gets angry. Aw, I'm really sad that they skipped over the thing that happened in the manga because um, in the manga during this race, well, I'll tell this while I'm battling it, um, Red has to go through a forest that has like a bunch of bug type Pokemon in it, like Butterfree and Beedrills and... What? 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 <laughs> what the <laughs> What the heck was that? Okay? Um, anyways, he goes through a forest that has like a bunch of different bug type Pokemon, like Butterfree and Beedrill, and then when he finds Snorlax, um, he decides to take some honey from the Beedrills 
put it on Bulbasaur and try to wake up uh, Bulbasaur by like, hey, here's a snack, although he promised he wouldn't let Snorlax eat Bulbasaur. And this is how he actually woke up Bulbasaur. And I, when I just read it, I thought it was hilarious. It, you saw just Bulbasaur's face. He's looking it back and went red like, are you freaking crazy? I thought it was really funny. What? What? No, we're supposed to catch it. No! Oh my god, you're freaking kidding me. Oh, there's another one here. Oh my god. There's another one down there. The winner is Kenti Yagi. Wait, what? I won. At least it was fun. Do I get this one? What? No, we're supposed to... Crap, we're supposed to catch the Snorlax. Ah! Ah! I don't know, I thought... Like, every other Pokemon we got so far, it's been automatic to join our team. I didn't know we were supposed to catch it. Ah! Alright, I'll restart, which means I have to do the Lieutenant Surge thing again. Ah, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. I got it in the Pokeball. I got it in the Pokeball. I went through 10 Great Balls, 6 Pokeballs, and I get it in the freaking Pokeball. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, it was worth it to follow the story, but this Snorlax's name is going to be... Snore. Yes, really. <laughs> Wait, this is the Snorlax he catches, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember him catching it. I don't know if this is the one he uses. I just started to consider that, like, what if this isn't the one that he actually uses? Because in the two chapters I've read after this, he doesn't use Snorlax at all. So I remember him catching it, but what if this isn't the one he uses? Crap. This is tiring. I should just rest here for a while. It's been weeks since I left Radiant Forest. I wonder how far ahead Blue is. Haha, <laughs> Goose, that'll prove him wrong. Ah, Charmeleon, come on out. Now come out, coward. What is it? What was that? Ah! Okay, so apparently, Blue, wait, what's upstairs? You're gonna go see what's upstairs first. It's probably something really freaking awesome. By the way, I don't know if you can hear a dog barking in the background. It's three freaking in the morning and the dog is barking. Wonderful. Have you ever heard of been, have you ever been to the Orange Archipelago? It's so tropical there. There's also like multicolored butterflies. It's not a good trader, so I'm just gonna give you this weird egg I found. Oh, uh, thanks. It's time for me to, f oh my god, it's time for me to find a wife. I'm gonna start finding a wife. Maybe I can make a robotic one. <laughs> you poor fellow! Okay, um, what in the world do we get out of this Pokemon egg? So we have an egg now? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I think awesome. I don't know, but, um, you would warp us back. Oh, hey, Green. Lavender Town, I'm going near the place without a self scope. Now, where can I nab one? <laughs> He's a smiley face in the text! Oh, I'll give out so much! But let's make our way to Lavender Town. I assume we're gonna have to. No, nope, we didn't have to battle you. Do we have to battle anybody? No? Oh, Pokeball. Focus Punch. Ooh, I'm assuming once again we're getting five Focus Punches, but that's perfectly... That's perfectly... F Hi, remember me? It's Daisy. Hi, it's Daisy. No, I don't remember you. Wait, yo, no, actually, seriously, who are you? I'm glad you came. Lavender well, Town is pretty scary. Anyways, my grandma wants me to give you this. Oh, an wait, another EXP share? Uh... Obviously, yes, obviously I know who Daisy is, but we haven't even seen Daisy so far in this game, have we? Apparently we have two EXP shares now. It, yeah, we don't have Snorlax with us. I'm so confused. Is this not when we're supposed to get Snorlax? Like I said, I'll look it up when, after this recording. God, we've got to find some place out of this rain. Well, you know your Pokemon have Pokeballs. I'm just saying. Um, excuse me. Huff. <laughs> wow, rude. Ah, uh, jeez, this is Lavender Town or leave them here? Leave them their town. I need to find some place to stay. Well, I would recommend maybe the Pokemon Center. Is there not a Pokemon Center? Here it is. Oh, two f those two old guys sitting just in like stereo next to each other are kind of creepy, if you ask me. But um, I'm sorry if this is a shorter episode, but I'm going to stop it here for today because actually, actually no, we'll do a little bit more because I keep looking at my recording timer and it says like 35 minutes so it makes me think like oh I should probably stop soon then I realize there's like at least half of that recording is going to be cut out because I was doing it on um, like off screen technically when I was young I used to make hacks games for people 
Whoa, was that like the creator in his old days? I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move the Pokemon can learn growing up. I'm also a Mushroom Maniac. Bring me two and tiny mushrooms or one big mushroom. If you do that, I'll teach you Pokemon to move. Uh, oh, so that's the Move Relearner? Yeah, Move Relearner. Okay, um, which house are we supposed to go into? Hi, can I, hi, can I just stay here until the rain stops? Sure, of course. Come in. Thanks. Thank you. You know, I was surprised when you allowed me to stay. Everyone is so rude in this town. Really? That old guy we talked to didn't seem so rude. Or Professor... Or... Uh, what is their name? I should know this. Uh, Nurse Joy. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot that. People here become slaves to their suspicions. That's what they've become. Come with me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, mind if I ask what we're doing? Oh, just paying my respects. Paying my respects. Here lies Doduo, rest in peace. He lived to a ripe old age, my beloved Doduo, but this time came at last. I want to pay my respect. Thank you, are you also a lover of Pokemon? No, just completely ignore the Pokemon standing beside me. So who are you, sir? Oh, my name's Mr. Fuji. For many years, this town has become said the gathering place for souls of Pokemon. To honor those souls and give them a place to rest, the people erected the Lavender Town. You mean the building is a- wait, did they just say they erected the Lavender Town, or did I misread that? Indeed. But if that's the cemetery, why didn't you build your memorial there? Because no one dares venture near the tower. Haha, <laughs> ghost he says. Pokemon ghosts? You know, like the type? You saw the townspeople fear with your own eyes. They've become so terrified of ghosts that they have forgotten how to trust one another. They won't make eye contact with strangers, but it's your choice whether or not believe you believe me. I just wish I could let my Doduo rest in a nicer place instead of a weed-infested alley. You must have cared for it. Here's a photo of my Doduo, whenever we risk it. The ghost. Blue? You know the lad. I'm on a quest right now to fulfill the Pokedex with information on every Pokemon there is, and my rival's Blue. Where is he now? Uh, he passed through his town just before I lost my Doduo, just like you. When I told him about the ghost, he laughed at it uh, off. He ran off to the tower, thinking he'd prove us all to be fools. That was two weeks ago. Whoa, whoa, what not But, but the flashback said one week ago. <laughs> he hasn't come back. So Blue's missing. The guy's personality could use some improvement, but as a trainer, he's the real thing. He doesn't go down easy, so what could put him out of action for two weeks? Could it possibly be... Could the tower really be haunted by ghosts? I'm gonna go get to the bottom of this. Why did we go back inside? Is it still raining? Yeah, it's still raining. Okay, so where were we supposed to find this love letter from the dude in the Pokemon fan club? I'm gonna go talk to people really quick. I once grabbed a tail of nine tails. I kept having bad dreams whenever I was a... It's a mystery dungeon rapper's red rescue team! Oh my god! What? Greg sent you to see me? Haha, <laughs> how was that kid? What? Love letter? You mean my roommate wrote it? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll tell you where my roommate lives if you give me a lava cookie. Where the heck am I supposed to get a lava cookie? What? Whatever. Okay, screw off. I'm not for any freaking delivery boy. Although now I am extremely curious about that. I don't know where I'm supposed to get a cookie, though. God dang it. Yes, wait. Whoa. I was so used to the Pokemon Mansion just being, like, right there, and they switched it up in this game. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that this tombstone should be my bed. No, I didn't. You will pay. You will pay. <laughs> I love what just finding this old crazy woman around the region is hilarious. So this is the book. Wait, did this just say Lavender Town when we entered here? Lavender Town, Lavender Town. Okay, so I guess it isn't the Pokemon. Man, this place doesn't look so big from the outside. Hey, what's going on with the fog? Huh? Is that a Pokemon? Wow, we just had a Red Rescue Team reference, and I was a Psyduck in Red Rescue Team. Whoa! I don't want to battle you... Psyduck? Uh, the ghost can't be... I. That doesn't look much like a Psyduck to me. Uh, just get out. Get out! Peach is too scared to move. Oh. I completely forgot you couldn't even battle these things. It just disappeared. Okay... Wait, is this going to do this every time we enter a floor? What? The fog is coming again? I thought I just... Hmm. Oh! Wait, was that a Duskull? I actually couldn't tell what Pokemon that was, unfortunately. Alright. Oh! This... Wait, what? I thought this was another one of the stupid ghost things, but now we're actually facing... Psyduck? Uh... Oh. 
Okay, this game is confusing me so far, throwing some odd decisions, I suppose. I didn't even notice it was a trainer battle, I just obviously wasn't paying very much attention. We def we defeated Ghost Ghost. Rawr! <laughs> Such a terrifying ghost. Rawr. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's a dust skull. It's just a corpse. What's making it move? Something must be controlling this thing. The fog is clearing. Rawr. Wait, we beat up a Pokemon corpse? It's gone. It was moving while the fog is present. That means the purple haze is what's drawing them. The fog is back. Okay, there must be a way to get rid of it. That's really... Okay, I'm assuming I'm going to have to battle all these different corpses if I get into battles with them. Like, kind of... Yeah, okay. Yeah, those are definitely... Death skulls? This corpse isn't moving. Okay, so I obviously have to take the lore route, which means I have to battle all these stupid... Arbok and Arbok. Okay, that's... Not too intimidating, really. But whatever. Just water pulse it just freaking I need to do some training on Pika he's so under leveled he's making me feel sad now I yeah I had no wait that too oh I was really confused why we had to come this way but then I just realized there's a gold tombstone there so I'm assuming did I seriously I didn't mean to water pulse him I'm assuming whatever we have to do has to do with this gold tombstone this gravestone is glowing this might be where the fogs are coming from should I touch it yes okay here goes Hey, it worked. Huh, I like them. I actually was a little paranoid of whether or not that would work, like touching some random gravestone, but it works. Aw, oh, man, it's back. All right. Ooh, Pokeball. <gasps> Reviver Seed? Wait, wrong game. Shadow Ball. Ooh, that may not be a Reviver Seed, but I'm definitely okay with that. I see. Well, Snorlax can learn Shadow Ball, can he? Yeah. Okay, so I'll probably just um, teach... Hey, this is a bad position for me. I'll probably just teach um, Snorlax Shadow Ball once we're supposed to be using him. Because I'm still really confused, like, wait, are we supposed to be using this Slowpoke? Or, not Slowpoke, Snorlax. I I feel really conflicted, guys. Like, I need to share... Are we seriously not freaking killing anybody? Why Why is nobody dying? Oh, you're putting everyone to sleep. That's... Stop using Dig. Stop using... Dig. <sighs> All right, we gotta wake. Someone's gotta wake up eventually, right? Pikachu's been, yeah. I was gonna say Pikachu's been. You didn't even freaking kill Pikachu. Are you getting me right now? I was gonna say Pikachu's been asleep forever, so he better freaking wake up. Oh, there's a gold tombstone. Yes, touch it. Touch all the tombstones, Red, because that totally isn't offensive. You know, I just said I need to level Pikachu up, and now I'm completely ignoring the fact that I like have free battles to level him up. I'm not very twisted spoon. Eh, not very useful. I kind of wonder if anybody plays through this hack just like using whatever Pokemon they want instead of the Pokemon that you're like supposed to use. Are you a Turner? Or... Yeah, okay, he was a... Sp There's wild encounters too? This is so confusing. We're facing the ghost and then sometimes we can't face the ghost. I want the... Oh, you aren't going to battle me. Alright, well, I'll hit the gravestone thing and then we'll go get that Pokeball. Because, wait, there's... Two gold gravestones? I'm guessing it didn't matter which one you used. It's probably just like whichever path you chose to go. This four is a lot of gravestones. Whoa! That was fire! Could that mean blue? I'm so happy to... Th I mean, you're okay. <laughs> I never thought I'd be glad to say that. Now let's... Blue can throw fire? What's the idea? You... Blue, what happened to you? Blue, talk to me, dude! His eyes, he's being controlled by this fog, too! I need to stop him! And we got a freaking battle blue, that's wonderful, okay. Whoa, that's right, actually looks really freaking awesome! Like, with the red outline, it kinda looks like new Super Smart- new, It kinda looks like, um, Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS, how it has, like, the, um, black out- You used cut, and you missed! Why does Cut not have 100% accuracy? It's only like a 50 base power move. You get it relatively early in the game, but by that point, you should at least have like a 60 base power type move. It's, I don't see any reason why Cut can miss. It doesn't have any secondary effects. There's just no logic. Oh, you're still asleep. That could be a problem. I was always like afraid. I don't, I'm not supposed to be using Snorlax. I know this much, at least like until the end of this chapter, I'm not supposed to be using him. So, damn, we can't fight each other. We've got to learn who's behind it. There's only one Pokemon I know of who could take over bodies like this. One Gas-type Pokemon with the power of Psychokinesis. Wait, so does Haunter and Gengar lose this ability? Whatever. Wait, what? What? We're facing you again? Why? Oh. You have a... Gas-life? 
Where did you get a Gastly from? I, I mean, obviously, we're in the place where he got a Gastly from, but... I'm confused. Are we facing Blue, or are we facing Gastly? I don't know. Either way, they're both defeated, so... Yay! I, I think. Grrr. What's odd is, like, Blue breaks out of his spell and attacks Ghastly, so normally that's not how it goes, but whatever. Yoo-hoo! Snap out of it! Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just you! Ah, back to your old obnoxious self, I see. Indeed, I have my, you had my gratitude for today, of course, now that that's over with. Blue, we gotta get out of this tower. Something's really wrong here. Hey, that's not the way out. I said we gotta get out. I'll show that buffoon. Buffoon? Thinks he can cast a spell on me, does he? That won't take... I won't ask you to tag along. Go home. I take back that old obnoxious self line. You're worse. Well, next time we will follow Blue and find out because this actually is the end of... I don't know the chapter names anymore because they're not just like versus Pokemon. They actually have like real titles now. But that's the end of this chapter. So I will see you guys next time on the Pokemon Adventures Red Chapters. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to show your support by clicking the like button down below. I already said until then. So until tomorrow, I'm Marty Tegoyo.